start out with a live view from our Valley Skycam, part of the Storm Team Skycam Network. You're looking uh, to the west. Interstate 94 backed up four lanes wide, it appears, all the way from the University area and into Minnesota all the way back to the west. So some very big slowdowns taking place. I checked out the other direction. When you get into Minnesota, the westbound lanes there are also backed up. So a slow and go commute tonight across Interstate 94 east and west through the FM area. Band of heavier showers moving through the southern Red River Valley and in the Devil's Lake Basin where you see the yellows and oranges. Some bigger raindrops uh, taking place there as well. Much of northwest Minnesota also seeing showers. We can see the heaviest of this band is pushed off to the north of the FM area. And then these are coming at us from the west. So another band of moderate to heavy showers pushing this way as an area of low pressure is spinning through the area. We also have heavy showers from Devil's Lake all the way south into parts of Stutzman County at this hour. Here is a peek uh, at the regional picture. We have more rain way out to the west into Montana, but out to the east tonight, very warm air here in the sunny day uh, area. And in southern parts of Minnesota and northern Iowa, some significant and potentially severe weather is going to take place. Active severe thunderstorms along the Minnesota border there with Iowa. And we do have a tornado watch for southern Minnesota from the southern uh, Twin Cities metro area all the way down to the Iowa border as we go through the evening. Look at the cold air already in Williston, where you see the blues here, that's estimates of temperatures in the 30s. Now it can snow with surface temperatures in the upper 30s out there, and there's rad the radar does show some precipitation there. It's possible we could have a couple places in western North Dakota reporting a mix of precipitation as the system exits their area. For us, we're too warm for any of that uh, nonsense here. Temperatures will generally be in the 50s this evening, and that's where they sit right now. 53 Grand Forks, and right now out at Hector, 55 degrees with a moderate shower continuing. We have a 54 as a dew point. When the temperature and dew point are that close, that drives that humidity way up there, 96 percent. Wind not too strong now, but your hour-by-hour -hour forecast shows that too will play a factor in our forecast. Hey, we're expecting this uh, batch of rain showers to continue as we go through now and 10 o'clock. The heaviest will move right through the Red River Valley into northwest Minnesota. Notice a continuation of precipitation out to the west with temperatures in the 30s there. Advance this through the overnight, and it takes till about 5 to 7 in the morning before some of this exits. Look at this. Snow showing up on the model in parts of southern Canada and near the arrowhead of Minnesota. But by and large, a few sprinkles, clouds, and gusty north winds to start your day. Over 20 miles per hour are likely. We'll be near 40 to 45 degrees. Friday, it's football night, and the sun comes out, and for the evening, the wind dies. It looks dry for most areas, and all in all, not a bad evening for your Friday night activities. Here's a look at rainfall potential. Again, this is additional between now and the morning hours, and we're talking some still have an inch to get. Radar estimates we showed you, Fargo, already about seven to eight tenths of an inch of rain. 43 to start at the early day hours in Fargo with spotty showers, but clearing skies, decreasing wind speeds, and temperatures in the low 60s for your day tomorrow. Expect 50s in Lakes Country and central parts of North Dakota for your afternoon. And now let's take a gander at another beautiful and colorful shot. Let me get my head out of the way, and we'll read that this one's from Cassandra from Fargo, a picturesque sunset indeed. Thank you so much for sending in your photo. All right, after a fairly quiet Friday afternoon and evening, we begin the autumn season at 8.54 p.m. Temperatures look to be near 70 both Saturday and on Sunday as well, but Sunday late, some cooler air starts to punch in. Falling temperatures throughout Monday will be in the 40s in most areas, and even in northern Minnesota, we could be talking about a few flakes of snow mixing in by next week. So we'll keep our eyes on that. Mm -hmm. Doesn't look heavy or organized though. Okay, that's good. Yes. Thanks, Sutch. Uh-huh.